In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an end screen for your YouTube video using your smartphone. <laughs> what? Your smartphone? Yeah, your smartphone. And it's pretty easy to do, but there's a couple steps that you need to do. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that in this video. But before I show you how to do that, I wanna say if you are new to the channel and you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And of course, if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support and I hope you enjoyed this video. So here's what you need to know about end screens. They can be between five and 20 seconds long. You can use end screens to promote your videos and encourage viewers to subscribe to your channel or promote another channel. And if you haven't figured it out already, end screens are not available in the YouTube app currently or the YT Studio app. YouTube has shunned mobile creators once again, but that's not a problem because I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video, I got you covered. And if you are using end screens currently in your video and you are a mobile creator and you figured this out already, go down, leave a comment below and let me know yes or no. I read every single question and comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. When this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna find out what you have to say about end screens. Now for this tutorial, I'm using the Puffin app because this one has given me the least amount of trouble. I tried it with Chrome and it was really clunky and it was forcing me into Studio Beta, which does not offer the end cards just yet. So currently Puffin is working just fine and it allows you to open Studio Classic. So we're gonna open up Puffin and we're gonna go up to the top right, go into settings and we're going to request the desktop site. Tap on that and it's gonna give you the desktop view. Once you're in the desktop view, you wanna to go to YouTube and you wanna make sure that you are logged into your account. Once you're logged in, if you're not already, you wanna zoom in to the top right to your profile icon. You're gonna see the option for Creator Studio. Now this is going to change, but currently Creator Studio is working. Once beta becomes the normal Creator Studio and then they have the end cards there, this will get updated and everything should work. And I'll do an updated video on that if anything changes. So now that's out of the way, go ahead and tap on Creator Studio. Once Creator Studio loads up, you wanna go find the video that you wanna add your end screen on. I'm gonna add it to the end screen sample video here on the bottom. I'm gonna tap on edit and there's gonna be a drop down menu and one of the options is end screen and annotations. Now you're also gonna see cards here and info and settings. You can go in and add cards as well. I'm gonna make a video on that in the future, but for this particular tutorial, we're gonna stick with end screen. So we're gonna tap on that and this is where you load your end screens. What you wanna do then is you wanna zoom into your video and you wanna play the video and find the spot that you wanna drop in your end screen. Remember, these can only be a maximum of 20 seconds long at the very end. So we're gonna play it until it comes up to that point. Okay, so this is the point where I wanna add them on my video. I've moved myself over to the right hand side and I have room for the thumbnails over on the left. So then I wanna come over here to add element. I wanna tap on that and I wanna add a video or a playlist. Tap on create, zoom in here. And you can choose most recent upload, best for viewer, or choose a video or playlist. Now, if you have a lot of videos, you might wanna choose one of these thumbnails and choose best for viewer. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna choose the video because I only have a couple here for the tutorial. So I'm gonna tap on choose and it's gonna show me the two videos that are available. I'm gonna tap on the first one, I'm gonna create the element, and I'm gonna come back to my video, and it's gonna drop it right on top of the video here. Now you can take your finger and you can press down on it and you can move it around anywhere you want on the screen. You can move it to the left, to the right, you can grab the edges, you can resize it, but for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it right there. Then I'm gonna come back to add element again. I'm gonna create another video I'm gonna tap on choose a video or playlist, and I'm gonna choose the next video. Now when you add the second video, it's possible that it's gonna drop that video on top of the first one. If it does, simply tap on it and move it out of the way. Now I want a subscribe button, and they use your profile image for that. So I'm gonna come back up, I'm gonna add an element, and I'm gonna tap on the subscribe, hit create, and it's gonna drop my profile image right on top of the thumbnail so once again, I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna move it all the way over to the side here. I'm gonna enlarge. And this blue line here, this is the edge and it'll actually snap to this. So if you come along, it's gonna snap right to that edge. Now, if that looks good to you and this looks good to me, you wanna scroll over here to the far right and you're gonna see a save button. Tap on the save button and it says all changes saved, and now you've successfully added an end screen and a subscribe button to your video. 
Now, after you save this or during the editing process, if you find that you're not happy with the placement of these, you can zoom into the bottom here and each one of these layers represent the two thumbnails and the subscribe icon. So you can zoom in and you can tap on one and you can move it in either direction to actually make it show up earlier or show up later. But be warned, moving these around on a phone can get really clunky. Now there's a couple different ways that you can add your end screens. You can just use the last five to 20 seconds of your existing video, or you can create an image or a video and tack that on to the end of your actual video inside your favorite video editing app. Then you render that out and you upload it to YouTube. Once it's uploaded to YouTube, you use the steps that I just showed you and you add the thumbnails from your other videos and then you add your subscription profile icon and move it around wherever you need it to be on your end screen. The process is exactly the same as what we just walked through. You just add those elements on top of a different template or on top of a video. It's entirely up to you. You can make your own template by using your favorite image editor. The important thing is that the ratio is 16 by nine, so it matches the ratio of your video. If you're uploading a video that's 1920 by 1080 in size, that's the size of the image that you wanna use. Or you can surf around online and go to a site like panzoid.com. They have a lot of free video templates there and free image templates, and you can download one of those, put those on the end of your video and upload those as well. And if you wanna see a tutorial on how to take that image or video and connect that to the end of your video inside your favorite video editing app, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know that that's what you wanna see. If you wanna learn how to make content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.